So I ended up buying this cheap little vacuum pump, pump here. It's only about uh, $170 Australian, and it converts the rainbow matrix from like this to this. I was quite amazed with the finish. Come and have a look. So these stones, I put in the vacuum chamber for uh, two hours. So you can see the result. Some of these are actually quite stunning, stunning stones. They've all turned very black looking. So this is only uh, two hours of treatment. And th these stones, I just treated with oil. There's no acid. So this is the result. So now we have to go and uh, finish these stones. But uh, so it will need a resin. So this is just uh, Andamuka Rainbow Matrix. Used to be called concrete, which is a horrible name, but it's a beautiful stone but it does need a treatment to get a proper finish. So th this is still all interesting material. I was quite amazed how black it's all come out. So just this treatment, it's like a hobbyist machine. You can get any other different type of vacuum pump. This one was just it's a five gallon container. You could probably use a smaller container. But um, I have this rough listed on Opal Auctions on my site, set of rough opals. So you'll see this is Andamuka Rainbow Rough Untreated. This is how it comes out of the mine, and you can have the fun of treating it. Now this is a piece of fairy opal. This is mined in Queensland. You've got all the flecks of opal actually in the sandstone. So that, that's a large piece. This is one that I prefaced a little bit. You can see little specks of colour. Well I treated these in the vacuum pump, and look at the results. Now these were actually all treated with, um, with oil, and We've just uh, cooked it afterwards, and this is the result. So we need a resin to put over it, but uh, this has just been in the uh, vacuum cylinder for uh, two hours, and the result is quite spectacular. So it's something for a home hobbyists can do.